I'm here at HCC 2013, and I'm speaking with Billy Lee, CEO of Freenet. Billy, tell me about MDCA and its role in the Malaysian market. MDCA actually stands for Malaysian Data Center Alliance, and it's an association that newly formed since uh, last year. Actually, the association was formed because of the Malaysian government. They have the visions to move Malaysia to a high nation income society by 2020. And they have this program called Economy Transformation Program. And with this program, they have identified data center industry is a key growth area that Malaysians need to put in place to enable the visions of 2020. That's why uh, the MDCA is formed with all the industry players within Malaysia to see how we can help to envision to achieve the uh, Vision 2020s for Malaysia. Okay, we have right now um, 17 members within our associations and all our members account about 1.5 million square feet of data center space. And all our members are commercial operators, which means they are selling data center space for end users to host within Malaysia. And beside one of the um, key visions to enable to be high income societies, uh, MDCA itself also have identified Malaysia actually has the advantage to become the regional data center hub for Asia. And uh, for Malaysia, we have free of natural disasters. We have very good skill sets of people. We also have plenty of land. And uh, best of all, we have a very affordable power electricity charge comparing in the neighboring countries. I believe right now Malaysia stands as the lowest rate compared within the South Asia countries. Billy, you just got back from Shenzhen and visiting Huawei's headquarters. What did you think of their data center solution? Okay, um, I actually came together with uh, some of my members from Malaysia. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Mr. Chiu from Ames. And then we also have KB from uh, Safe House, and followed by Mr. Akil from Business Bay, as well as uh, Terry from My Tally House. So uh, we came in the group to visit the Huawei uh, HQ, uh, especially for the uh, IT product, as well as the data centers uh, infrastructures area. Um, to be frank, it's a pretty surprise to us that because uh, we know Huawei will, is like, the telecom sectors. So uh, we, we, we never knew Huawei has such a fantastic and big line of product IT line, which consists of uh, switches uh, down to uh, video conferencing, storage servers, etc. Uh, and best of all, they also have the data center infrastructures such as UPS, etc., uh, which give us a very big eye openers where uh, for Malaysians, we have not been exposed or aware that Huawei actually have that capabilities to deliver that kind of product and services to their end users market. Um, we have seen um, data centers infrastructures uh, within the Huawei Sension HQ, as well as the cloud, uh, sorry, the um, container data centers. I, I believe that uh, they are at the top notch of the technology age, which uh, we believe that uh, if you have a lot of use, that we can work together in Malaysia to explore the opportunity for Malaysia's industry. What are the Malaysian data center requirements and what kind of products are needed? I think uh, right now in Malaysia, we are lagging of alternative. We are always being exposed to some of the global brands and uh, right now, our system integrators as well as distributors are tends to distribute only selected brands of data center infrastructures product in Malaysia. I believe uh, Huawei uh, right now given us the opportunity to understand that they have this product. I believe is uh, it can give us alternative solutions uh, to all the data centers industry users to select and compare and uh, whether Huawei can be fit into Malaysia's industry. So in terms of specific product, um, I believe all the IT product line that uh, Huawei is carrying right now uh, are fit for Malaysian industry. I believe they are designing into the world standards where every country and industry can utilize it at uh, anywhere. Okay. So I believe uh, all product line are pretty suitable for Malaysian industry. Billy, what can Huawei do for Malaysia with MDCA's requirements? Definitely we can cooperate. I think the uh, first thing that we need to do, we have to 
make known to data center industry users that uh, like us that we've been exposed to the product that we don't even know that Huawei is carrying such wonderful product lines. So I think the first thing that we need to do is to help introduce uh, Huawei into Malaysia to let all our users know that you have end-to-end -end solutions, not only on the telecom side, also from the IT industry side. Billy, thanks for talking with us today. Okay, you're welcome.